Section 2.2, Analyzing Conditional Statements. Statements can be either true or false. For example, we have, the ball is red. This statement is either true because the ball is red, which we do see is true, or false because the ball is not red. Now, any statement which can be true or false can also be negated. And the negation of a statement is the opposite of the original statement. So let's look at example one and try to negate the following statements. The ball is red and the umbrella is not open. Take a moment, pause your video, and resume when you're ready to check your answer. The negation of the ball is red is the opposite. And that would be the ball is not red. The negation of the umbrella is not open would be its opposite, which is the umbrella is open. A type of statement we can look at is called a conditional statement. And a conditional statement is composed of a hypothesis and a conclusion. The easiest way to show you what those two parts are is to look at some examples. But just like above, conditional statements can be true or false. The important thing to recognize is that a conditional, conditional statement is true whenever the if whenever the hypothesis is true, then the conclusion is true. That may not make some sense right now, but let's look at some examples. Okay. For our first example, we have, if it's July, then it's summer. Look for the words if and then. The if, then conditional statement is the most common that we'll look at. Everything that follows the if is the hypothesis. And everything that follows the then is the conclusion. Now let's think about the statement. If it's July, then it's summer. To determine whether the statement is true, we assume the hypothesis is true. So we ask ourselves, whenever it's July, does that mean that it must be summer? In the Northern Hemisphere, it does. In the summer, Southern Hemisphere, however, it does not. The Southern Hemisphere has their winter during July, so this statement is false false. Unless, of course, we restricted it to the northern hemisphere or even just to Arizona. Let's look at the next example. Sally owns a dog if she has a yellow lab for a pet. This if should be a dead giveaway. Everything that follows the if is the hypothesis. Everything that follows everything else is our conclusion. The statement is saying that if Sally has a yellow lab for a pet, then she owns a dog. Is this true? If Sally does own a yellow lab, does this mean she owns a dog? And the answer is yes, so the statement is true. Try the next one yourself. When we visit San Diego, we're in California. The hypothesis is here is we visit San Diego. And the conclusion is we're in California. And we can see for this statement, it is also true. For whenever we're in San Diego, we must be in California. Go ahead, pause the video, work through your next three examples that we have on the screen, and then go to the next video when you're ready to see the solutions for the exa these examples.